This video is going to go over positive and negative numbers. All right, well, what are negative numbers? Negative numbers are numbers that are less than zero. For instance, all negative numbers will have a negative sign written in front of them. However, positive numbers usually will not always have a positive sign in front of them. If a number does not have a sign, you can assume that the number is positive. So looking at our number line, all the numbers to the left of zero are negative, and they are indicated with that negative sign. All the numbers to the right of zero are positive numbers, and you can tell that because they don't have any sign um, in front of them. Now, negative numbers are all numbers that are left of zero. So any number to the left of the zero are always negative numbers. Now let's think of when you think of negative numbers. Well, when we bank, it's like when you owe someone $5 and you only have $2. You would be like in the hole or have or be negative $3 because you still owe them $3. Another example of negative numbers is when temperatures are below zero. So here's our zero mark and all these temperatures below here are negative. Those are negative numbers. Now here are a few other common rules that make, may make in, integers um, better to understand. Um, rule one, when comparing two positive integers, the larger number will be the greater integer. For example, if you were comparing five and 32, obviously 32 is greater because it's the larger number. Now rule two, when comparing one positive and one negative, so here we're comparing a positive and a negative. The positive will always, um, the positive will always be greater. For example, five and negative 355. Well, five is greater because it's positive. But now rule three, which is the trickiest, when comparing two negatives, okay? So when comparing two negative integers, so that would be a negative and a negative. The integer that is closest to zero will be greater. So for instance, negative four and negative 44. Negative four is larger because it's closer to zero. Now, for instance, when we're looking here at these three number lines, we have um, negative three here, negative 1.4 here, and negative five over two here. When you are given these three numbers, which number is the largest? Well. 1.4 is the largest because it's the closest um, to zero. So the closer you are to this mark here, the bigger your number. So it would go 1.4 and then 5 over 2 and then 3. So 3 is the smallest number because it is the furthest away from zero. Now let's look at these numbers. Let's compare these numbers. Five and negative one. Well, based on our rules, five has to be greater because it's a positive number. Well, here we have a negative and a negative. So five over two is really two and a half. So negative two and a half and negative 14. So here's negative two and a half and negative 14 is way down here. So that means negative two and a half has to be larger because it's closer to zero. Negative three and zero, zero is larger. Negative 6.3 and negative 6.7, 6.3 is larger. Negative 20 and negative 10, negative 10 is larger. And negative 100 and negative one, one is larger. I like to think about when I'm dealing with negative numbers, the bigger the number, the further away from zero it is. 
so that means the smaller the number. So if a negative number is the bigger the number, the actually it's a very small number, the bigger the, bigger the number you get. And that's really confusing. Negative numbers is, are really hard because of this concept. Now, when doing the when adding and subtracting and multiplying integers, it's best to use your calculator if you have one handy so you don't have to worry about drawing a number line. So here is your negative sign, and this is very important to um, know on your calculator. So here's your negative sign. So when you're putting this in your calculator, you're going to hit 4 plus 3 negative equals. So let's go ahead and do that. 4 plus and you should get a positive 1. 2 minus 3, you should get negative 1. Let's do these together. Negative 5 minus negative 6, you should get positive 1. Negative 7 times 2 will be negative 14. And negative 25 divided by negative 5 is 5. Now, when you multiply and divide integers, two positives will equal a positive, a positive and a negative will equal a negative, and a negative and a negative will equal a positive. So right here, when we divided two negatives, our answer is going to be positive. Here we multiplied a negative and a positive, so our answer is negative. It's just a simple a little trick to remember to check your answers. But remember, when you're adding, subtracting, multiplying, dividing integers, make sure that you do definitely use this calculator. That will help you. If you have any other questions, make sure you contact your teacher.